In this video you will learn how to turn this dough into an authentic pizza with a really nice crust. Hi, my name is Filou and on this channel I show you low calorie recipes that could help you on a weight loss journey. And in today's video I want to show you how you can make a pan pizza that is low in calories and still tastes delicious. So let's get into this video. So let's start with the dough. I will take a big container and put in 100 grams of all-purpose flour. If you can find type 00 flour, go with that. I will follow up with one teaspoon of salt, which is two grams, and then a teaspoon of dry yeast, which is also two grams. Then comes a very important part, and it's the water. I will use 70% hydration, which means that on 100 grams of flour comes 70 grams of water. This gives the best texture, in my opinion. First I will go in with a wooden spoon and mix everything up and then I will use my dry hands until everything is combined. If the dough is too sticky you can always add a little touch of flour until all the flour in the container is used. As soon as the dough is ready, spray a little bit of oil in the bowl, put the dough inside and cover it up with some cling film. Now this part is very important, cover it up with a towel and let this rest for at least 18 to 24 hours. Trust me on this, the longer you let this rest, the better it will become. Look at the bubbly result after 24 hours. So next is to put a little bit of flour on your worktop and lay down your dough. This will feel like almost a little pillow. This is soft and bubbly and feels just really good. Now for an ultimate crust, I will use a cast iron pan. You can also use a regular pan if you don't have a cast iron one. Just make sure that it can go into the oven for five to six minutes. Now I will spray some oil inside, lay in the dough. I will push this gently with my fingers until a nice pizza is built. Next is to make a sauce. I will make a really quick one. All I will use is some canned tomatoes. Then I will season it with some salt, pepper, some garlic powder, some oregano and mix everything up. Feel free to add other spices like chili powder. Next part is to prepare the toppings and I will use 60 grams of low-fat mozzarella. This mozzarella has 150 calories on 100 grams of mozzarella and I will cut everything into little pieces. Then I will take 60 grams of low-fat Italian ham and also prepare this into little pieces. Now before the pizza dough gets into the oven, I will crisp up the bottom of the pizza on a stove at medium heat. The cool part about making it this way is that you can check the bottom of the pizza dough until you have the desired crust. On my stove this takes around 10 to 15 minutes. After that I will start with a couple of tablespoons of sauce, then I will add all of the ham on top and then I will put all of my mozzarella on top of the pizza. Now this comes under the broiler on maximum heat for 5 to 6 minutes. This really depends on how well done you want your pizza. This is after 4 minutes and then I put it in for another 3 minutes and it's a little bit more burnt. This is actually how I like my pizza. And this is the end result including a very nice crust that you get if you use a cast iron pan. And there you go. 550 calorie pizza. You see guys, it's possible to make a lower calorie pizza. You just have to use a lower fat mozzarella and ham that is low in calories. Like I said, it has crust, it smells amazing. The thing is, if you go outside eating pizza, they use tons of olive oil, they use high fat cheese, and that's the reason why the pizza, if you go to a restaurant, is way high in calories than the one that you can make at home. You see, I didn't use almost no olive oil, I have low fat mozzarella and low fat ham and this is how you can get a relatively low caloric pizza. But does it taste good? Let's see. That's amazing. It's crunchy, it's juicy. So if you want, you can also put some basil on top or also some garlic powder inside the dough, which is also really, really good. So you can make the pizza like I showed you or just throw it in the oven for 11 to 13 minutes at, at maximum heat and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.